guys and I'll take you for a difference, see? No, Kelly, you and, uh, well, Mark Graham was obviously at this game. Yeah. <laughs> you were there with the knobs on because it was the team's fifth consecutive win. Yes, that's right, really. And this, uh, obviously, you're so starting to get a sort of a, a giant killer uh, complex down there at North Sydney now, eh? Yeah, well, uh, the boys have, you know, got a bit of confidence about themselves and uh, we know we can play good football and uh, we're just going on with it. Mark, um, I was just reading up on this and I've been talking to a few of the fellows, you know, and North Sydney, there's no doubt about them. As um, Terry Fernley pointed out to me, when I, he said they're just a lot better side than most coaches and teams think. You know, they're going on and can get on, go on with it this year. Mm. But yesterday, after watching the test, if Donnie McKinnon can't make that touring side, I'm a bad judge, you know. You know, I don't want to empty the can on anyone, but I don't think Rowan Hancock's up to it when you can stand there and get a hiding like that every game that he that he took. You know, I'm sure, you know, and I think you'd back me up on this. There's no way in the world Donnie McKinnon has copped that, was there? Oh, uh, to my mind, I'm only pleased that the Australian selectors didn't select him for the Australian side. Yeah. Uh, he would have caused us a, a heap more trouble, you know, yeah. than, um, than you know, that bloke. I, I, I support you, Mel. I, I think he's a consistent forward and he, he's tough. He don't, never shirks the hard and heavy stuff. I just want, you know, and just uh, he'd be a tremendous asset in England. Just to watch, there's one of his passes going now that this will end, end up in probably the worst wingers drive I've ever seen. Watch Chris <laughs> Luckman. <laughs> Anyway, it's yeah. how many how many points do you get for that? <laughs> well, you you get five because Greg oh. kicks it. However, uh, there's some other good players that have, here he goes again, McKinnon. But uh, there's some other good players in here, and Larry Kelly's another player that's come on. You know oh, that champion, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah. he's and a real good course, player. Now that you fellas are going so well up the front, it must make it a lot easier for the fellas out in the back flanks. I reckon. Well, I hope so. Look, yeah. look at the flick pass. Yeah, look, well, there's two of them. There's two of them. <laughs> yeah, well, I think there's a difference in Don McKinnon this year and last year. I think the players they're backing him up for those. But he was oh, criticised yeah. last year with passes were going to ground and throwing. But sure. now he's got players running on, which he looks a be much better player. Yeah. So it's the players that's with him around him too that's making that's it. Right. Well, Donnie McKinnon obviously is a very strong representative mm. chance but he's a player that doesn't do it every week he does it at three or four good games uh, maybe five good games a year outstanding good games well, a year the rest of the time he's not a uh, not a consistent performer he's the right, right age now yeah Rex. i think he's it comes with age he's just come of age yeah. you know right. he's a big strapping fella he's just come of age and he mightn't be the best prop when you go away but i'll give you a written guarantee he'll be the best back when he comes best maybe when we comes talk back. a bit differently to north about north after today without mark graham mm. without uh Russell. burns and is young Cox playing? Yeah, uh, Cox will be yeah, playing. And there's another. How, how bad there. is Alan Burns' injury? Uh, from what I hear, he's uh, might have split the patella, uh, the kneecap. Yeah. So it mm. might take a, a couple of months to get over. Yes, he's not gonna, it's not a thing you're going to come back quickly. Good boy. Uh, McCaffrey's uh, injected a lot of uh, sharpness into the side, hasn't he? Yes, he's oh, a top so player. Speed. But Mick Mullane was an outstanding player for Cronulla, told me last year, Mark. Yeah. And I've seen him taking some terrific bombs through the season, you know. And uh, this chap that I did talk to about the game gave him a hell of a rap. Yeah, he played really well. So flick passes galore and that great oh. try for uh, North Sydney with Kelly, the man, finally putting the ball down. But uh, two flick passes, one from yeah. McKillen. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that must be the influence of Ron Willey's coaching. He was always a lair, you know. That. You know, you know Ron's <laughs> a lair. Like like oh, well, he's got a charming that. wife, but he's a lair himself. <laughs> can't handle it. All right, let's